Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deja Tucker. If you're new here, if you're new here, I make a lot of videos about beauty, college, makeup, lifestyle. Definitely check out some more content and subscribe. But if you're not new here, then we can go ahead and get on to the video. For today's video, we're going to be doing a Get Ready With Us featuring Miss Carly here, aka CJ. She's a recent ECU graduate and also a content creator. She has really great art and she did this little flower and petals on my face right now and I did our makeup. So we're just going to collab and I'm going to do the makeup. She's going to do the art. We're going to talk about being a content creator at ECU, all the different aspects of it, all the little shameless plugs of all the things that she does with art, like her her prints, her graduation caps, and if you want to see how we get ready, just chit chat with us. Keep watching. So you just graduated from ECU, mm -hmm. a double major in neuroscience and art, art history. Yeah. What's next? So right now over the summer, I'm just freelancing um, my art. I'm doing commissions, um, creating pieces that I want to create. I'm really just trying to promote it on social media, get my stuff out there. Um, and then I'm planning on moving after the end of the summer. The goal is really just to to expand my art location-wise even to move and get the name out that way. Yeah, because a bigger city does correlate with more people, more opportunities right. and things like that, definitely. Right. It really just comes down to like more opportunities because it's like here, I can do as many art events as I want or whatever, but it's still only gonna reach a limited amount of people just because people don't like come from other areas to Greenville yeah. for art. Right, so it's like, I, I wanna go somewhere where people come in from other places even. So then yeah. that opens up more areas, mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me what has been like the biggest challenge for you. I know with me and YouTube, the biggest challenge really was starting because mm -hmm. it's kind of like awkward. Everyone kind of wants to start a channel. Yeah. And everyone kind of wants to, do something. Honestly, it held me back for a long time. I wanted to start in eighth grade mm -hmm. with one of my friends and we were gonna go up to people and be like, so how are you like in high school? <laughs> <laughs> and we were gonna do like high school Q and A's and stuff. Right. But I think once more of the beauty community started to come out and more on my timeline and inspire me more, that really set me apart and wanted me to do like straight beauty other than harassing people about high school. <laughs> yeah, I think my biggest challenge really like well, it's kind of twofold. The first is just like the fact that everything I do is self-initiated. Mm -hmm. So like if I want something to be done, if I want to make a piece, like I have to do it of my own will. Like there's no one sitting there like, ah, oh, do this. Like, yeah, it's all initiation. Um, and then second, um, kind of balancing what I want to do as an artist and mm -hmm. what I want to create, but also keeping in mind, like if I'm doing this as a career, like, what are people going to buy? You yeah. know, so it's like really balancing the two um, while still maintaining my like authentic creativity in that. So with school, you double majoring and stuff like that. Yeah, girl, I don't know how I did that. <laughs> with you doing art, selling art. Mm. We were talking earlier, you said you're doing 20 credit hours. Yeah. Like, can you even find the time? Honestly, I have no answer for that question. <laughs> I don't know. Look, it's like I'm out of it now and I'm looking back and I'm like really have no idea how I did this but I think I just kind of at that time like school was first mm -hmm. so like I got the school stuff done and then the art was kind of the release so like in my free time I did the art um, but I didn't do near as many commissions and stuff I did more just stuff that I wanted to do because mm -hmm. I had to oh, like I gotta get through I gotta get the yeah. degree mm -hmm. degree me please <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like we ain't playing games here because the art will still be here, but the degree, yeah. if I mess up. Throughout all of your time doing art, what is your favorite piece? I recently, like this year, was did like a collection for like my first like series, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I did a series of portraits based on women that I met while I studied abroad. Ooh, I saw that. Where did you go? Yeah, so I studied abroad through semester at sea. And so we went to like 10 different countries, I think it was. Really just like exploring the idea of what it's like to be a tourist in like, mm -hmm. the fact that the tourist is really like an ugly person because they're not fully in the culture, but they're kind of yeah. watching like weirdly from the side. And so I was kind of exploring that by setting up the series of portraits of women that I met, kind of like to put the viewer in that same position and kind of like see how are you approaching 
the situation. And so there were like big portraits, like three feet by three feet. I had three of those and then two, three feet by four feet um, portraits. And actually four of them are hanging in the new student center at ECU now. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, um, so that was like so cool. My best friend, she was like, you should ask if you could get your art there. And I was like, there's no way they're gonna let me put that there. <laughs> yeah. But I was, she was like, well, just ask. I was like, mm, I'm fine. So I went in there and they were like, oh, they're not to have your pieces. And I was That's like, good. yeah. <laughs> so they're in there until September. I think my favorite eye or makeup that I've really done might have been the purple one that I just dropped. Like, I loved that A one. couple weeks ago. <laughs> that was, I saw it, I was like, woo. What would be the dream goal, dream setup, dream life that mm -hmm. you would have? I think for me, it would be to just be able to create what I want to create, um, whether that be art, music, whatever, but then to even like have like speaking engagements, like about just what it is to, to have a creative lifestyle. Because to me, that's like the bigger part of what I do. It's like, I'm an artist, but that comes from the fact that I'm a creator. The creativity is really what pushes what I do. Like all of the things that I create are very much like wrapped up in who I am. So really like I can't be separated from my art, I don't think, in, in my opinion. That's good. I yeah. think for my YouTube channel, I haven't really talked about what I really want out of my YouTube channel, but I want it to be a space where it's open and where people can come watch me have a laugh, kind of maybe connect to what I'm mm -hmm. saying. That's one thing that I never want to lose touch with, just being personable because I know a lot of YouTubers when they or just a lot of people on social media, once they get this like huge following, it's like, I am so much better than you. Yeah. And like, I was never at 500 subscribers. I was never at, you know, this is that and right. the third. And the type of career path this is, you get to where you get to by being open, by sharing experiences. Mm -hmm. Literally people are just like your friends. They're right. watching you as friends. So for you to go ahead and be like, well, I can't tell you this, I can't tell you that, that kind of like makes the friendship lose its value, you know? When people look at your art, mm -hmm. what do you want them to feel, to see? Like, what do you want them to think of you or the message that you're trying to send when people are looking at your stuff? I think for me, the number one goal is really for people to feel like they connect with something in my art that hasn't, they haven't been able to, whether that's voice it experience it, say it or whatever, like mm -hmm. to be able to like be like, oh, I resonate with that. Like I feel seen, I feel heard. And even if that's not because I'm, I'm not drawing a portrait of you, but like there's something in what I did mm -hmm. that you're like, like I feel that, mm -hmm. like regardless of whatever that means. Um, so kind of just to have that like, like person to person type feel. Yeah, like, yeah, me too. Yeah, absolutely. So what have been your best experiences at ECU? I feel like my best experience at ECU really has been the friends that I've found. Um, I found like a close set of friends that are seriously like gonna be lifelong friends. That's great. But also just the opportunities that were presented here while we were here, mm -hmm. like turned me into the person that I am. So like if they hadn't come the way that they had come, I don't know that I would have turned back around to art is what I really? did. Really? Yeah, so like really just like the self-finding aspect, like shout out to EC for that. So we had this class um, that I was required to take that was like basically research based, but I was like, I'm already in research at that point because I was also a neuroscience major and I was like, if I have to do more science research, I'm gonna hurt somebody. Neuroscience, I like, okay. Neuroscience. But, <laughs> I was like, if I have to do more science research, I can't. <laughs> so I was like, can I do art research? And they were like, uh, I mean, yeah, I was like, basically I'll like talk about my process. Like I hadn't done art in a minute, but I was like, I need to do some art. I feel like I need to do it. Mm -hmm. and I was like, so I was like, can I do it as art research? And they were like, yeah. So basically what I did is I created a piece, but I like documented my process. And so really it like made me re-fall in love with the process. And so that's kind of what totally turned around my, because someone said yes to me being able mm -hmm. to do the art research thing. Um, that is what allowed me to fall back in love with it. That's good, yeah. that's really good. Cause yeah. what happens if they would have said no? As an artist, one of the things I do is some body collab shoots. So body paint, stuff like that. Deasia and I have collabed. So she's done the makeup and I'm about to do the painting. And then I actually use some live flowers as well. So I'm gonna do more live flowers on myself just because it's kind of hard to paint on my own face. <laughs> you can kind of do like a tutorial if you want to. <laughs> tutorial, I use eyelash glue to attach these. <laughs> Wait till the eyelash glue gets tacky. Then 
apply. Aha! Ah, dang it, I missed the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do like a red, pink, and brown look to go with the Ooh. face art that CJ's gonna do on me. Oh, that looks cool, you. Yeah, it does look cool. I like this background here too. Yeah, it's really cute. It this is. was my tapestry from freshman year. It's if you watch tapestry. my uh, ECU freshman dorm room tour, <laughs> it's like a 30 minute long video. 30 minute tour? Yeah. yeah. And let me tell of you. a tiny door. Yeah, I was about to say, they're not that. <laughs> They aren't that big. It was like one of the first videos I ever did. So did you move off campus, I guess, for your sophomore year? Yeah. Okay. I always stayed there freshman year. Really what dorm were you in? Jarvis. I was there when you came and you like talked about like social justice. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Literally, the extent of my makeup is in that bag. That's what's so sad about it. I mean, not really if you don't do makeup. My art collection is none. <laughs> How many rooms do you have? Well, one. One moved out. Yeah, because one of our like moved out drama. as well. That wasn't because of drama, it's just because she was graduating. Oh, okay. in December. Yeah. Ooh, drama. Roommate drama. Yeah, yeah that's a huge thing in college. Yeah. People well, don't you... talk about roommate drama. <laughs> but, like, I know a lot of friends who had seriously horrible like, yeah. roommate situations. Same. She had just finished our makeup. She finished her flower. Yes. Ooh. Looks really good. And now she's gonna do the flower on my face, and mm -hmm. then we will be almost done. Okay, so turn your face that way. Okay, cool. How was graduation for you? So it was <laughs> shameless plug. I do decorate grad cast. I actually love doing that. Um, I did like 12, I think I counted 12 or 14 this cycle. So I do a lot of different things. So like some people will want ones for their major or yeah. some people will want ones for like a musical artist they like or like just mm -hmm. something pretty. Um, or like, thanks mom, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you get a little bit of everything. But as far as like the feeling of graduation, um, it's oddly a great feeling because it's like you've, it was kind of surreal until it actually happened and it's still honestly sort of surreal because it's like I've been working for, what, four years now? like, mm -hmm. And then it's just like you walk across the stage and they say your name and you're like, wait, that's yeah. like, that's it? <laughs> that's it? But it's a good feeling because it's like, you accomplished that. Like, I did that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But everybody feels a little differently about graduation. Some people yeah. are like, oh, it's exciting. Me, like, it didn't really feel real until, like, two days after. No, I don't really. <laughs> I don't really <laughs> <laughs> To me, I think it would have been more emotional if it didn't feel so, like, surreal. Yeah, definitely. But it felt super, like, is this happening? Is this real? <laughs> Am I actually done? I'm like... Cause part of me is like, oh, I gotta wake up and go to class again in the morning. Yeah. You know, like even though that's not factual, but we're just like, are you gonna do like get your masters or anything? I've thought about that. I don't want to go back directly because I need this girl needs a break. You know, I need yeah. a, I need a minute. Like <laughs> it's just like, cause I like went pretty hard in high school. You know, I was being extra. I was like, yo, you mm -hmm. know, let's get this money. Don't know why I went that hard in high. I mean, it meant that I got into college, so I guess you know, yeah. it was worth it. but like. And you got a scholarship. Yeah, so like that was worth it, but <laughs> it's like when you've got eight years of like, you know what I mean, putting it work mm -hmm. that way, like, oh God, I need a minute. And it's good to take breaks, like. Right, like I know if I'm gonna put, I like to put in my full effort and like, if I'm gonna do that, it's not right now, cause I'm not, my head's not school. Wait, so I forgot to ask, was neuroscience kind of tying into psychology? Like, did you learn a lot about that? Yeah, so basically what neuroscience is, is, it's like psychology and biology systems put together. It's like multidisciplinary. Mm. So we're learning about like the psychology portion, but then we're looking at the molecular stuff that happens behind the scenes that causes that behavior to happen. It's like why, what systems are actually happening in your body that's oh, causing man. that. But like, we're looking at like, what is the biological basis of what's happening that's mm -hmm. causing that psychological health thing? I don't know, it's nerdy. <laughs> <laughs> it's nerdy, you know what I mean? Oh my yes, if you are graduating soon, you need the grad cab done. Oh, it's yeah. your girl. It's your girl. What were some of your favorite ones? Um, I the one I did for my best friend was probably my favorite, but I just did like flowers, actually semi-inspired by what I'm doing here. And then I think my favorite one though was this one that I did for this girl, her um, great grandmother was like her best friend, and she had recently she had died within that year before the before the girl got to graduate, and so she wanted a portrait of her great-grandma on it. And so I did a portrait of her great-grandma, like on the graduation cap. Mm. 
So that was super cool. That's special. It's so, yeah, that's what I really like about it. Cause it's like, I get to be a part of these, even though I'm not a part of it, but like, I get to sort of surrogately be a part of these like special moments that people have. Okay, look at it. Ooh, let me, let me get it in here. See, this is really cute. Yeah. I like the purple. All right, you guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to have CJ's social media information down below. You guys can order prints from her, talk to her, maybe even get some custom art from her. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.